Welcome to this fourth and final video in a four part series covering the more advanced features in Sugarbytes Obscurium. This video we're going to cover plugins and hosting your own plugins inside of Obscurium. To get to the plugin area you need to open up the sound tab and click on the plugin button. This gives you a new area here. We have a drop down menu where we can select our plugins. I'm just choosing Sugarbytes Cyclop and then we can choose presets from within that plugin. Um, you can also use the left and right buttons to flick through your presets. I'm just picking this one I made earlier. You'll notice that these flexible parameters down the side all now say unassigned. The pitch ones stay the same, but these ones are now all unassigned because they're waiting to be assigned to something within your plugin. You can do this in two ways. You can use the random button to randomly assign parameters in your plugin to these uh, flexible parameter lanes, or you can click on this X to un unassign everything, or you can click on the L to go into a learn mode. And learn mode waits for you to change parameters in the actual plugin, and then it assigns them itself. It learns what you want to change. So let's click on this button to bring up the GUI. Here is Cyclops, very cool looking plugin. And I'm just simply gonna touch on some parameters that I want to change in Obscurium. So format, position, cutoff, resonance, cutoff, resonance. You can choose anything you like. This is just what I'm choosing now. So as I close down the GUI, you'll see that all of those parameters are now assigned to flexible parameter lanes and we can close this down and start playing some notes. Okay, so that first one, which was the decay, I'm going to use the 32 step pen tool and bring everything down, make the notes very short, maybe there, and then just have one step and bring up some random notes like that to make the decay quite long. Let's play with that this format one, let's see what that sounds like. That would sound good with a sign, so I'm going to use my sign tool, give it a bit of amplitude and a bit of frequency, and draw a line. Let's go to the position and try the line tool, and have it coming down, like that. Make it a bit steeper. Not much is happening, let's try this format. Let's try the S2 position and use the paint tool and go random. And let's do it for the filter as well. So you can use all the tools that you usually use with the plugin mode. You can also use these pitch flexible parameters. Let's go for the pitch and let's have a let's have a sign tool on the pitch as well. Let's open up those filters again. And maybe just have a few lines going down. And just for fun, let's go into super obscure mode, turn it on, give it a lot of multiplication and bring the ad, oh, we'll bring it up, the ad random on and play it. So there you go, that's using plugins within uh, Sugarbytes Obscurium, and that's the end of these four videos. Thanks for watching, my name's Tom Cosm, and have a lot of fun.